I'm Andrew, and this is my best friend, CJ. What you want to do? We run a vape shop here in Buffalo, New York. Vaping really is cool. We work hard, we party hard. See what the buzz is about by checking out our YouTube reality series. You're watching VWO. I started off with your standard shitty little e-cig. I started off on a Darwin. No, I started off on a stick battery. Real small, poly-filled tips, atomizer, almost gas station-esque e-cig. Can we talk about poly-filled tips for a second? These things suck. They suck so bad. Like, you fill the tip with juice, you put it in there, and you're instantly getting burnt hits. I think by the end of the road when I was using those atomizers with the poly tips, I was just pulling the fucking poly out of it and just putting my juice right into my atomizer and just using that as a drip tip before they even invented the drip tip. I started out on the first kits that they sold at the flea, the little ones with the blue light, the little button only lasted like an hour and a half. It was terrible. I started out on the Eagle kit, Ego battery, loved it, but about a month later I felt like I was the black sheep of our family and I had to get an eye case, so I was kind of forced into it. No, but you can't you can't go and say you started like everyone else because, you know, because I didn't you had a silver spoon in your mouth. I didn't, I didn't start like everyone else. I started out with a, with a stick battery like most people do, the little 510 joint with the, the shitty little cotton tips and all that nonsense. And it was great for the first like 12 hours and then I lost it completely. It barely even reduced the amount of cigarettes that I smoked, like I was just, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. That didn't work for me. And it started with the first, the second day I had it, I lose one of the cigarettes, so I'm down to one right away, and that battery lasts me about two hours, so this isn't gonna work for me, you know what I mean? I used to have to carry around a, a legit syringe, one that you could actually stick in your arm, not a dull one. My juice came in jars, no needle nose tips or anything like that. Uh, it was just pretty basic and standard. When the idea of a bigger battery was there, it was like, oh my God, this might be it. And me and CJ ordered up uh, some, you know, Ego style batteries, and these things were 1300 miles. They were way better than anything you could expect. And we used the same damn atomizers that we had on those little stick batteries, but put them on that, and all of a sudden it works. Now I'm vaping. Now I'm not smoking cigarettes anymore. I'm just vaping just because of that thing. It was unbelievable. Kagos, Jagos. Rivas, Leos, the old square I taste, those are kind of like Egos, Migos, Shigos. The Hello 16, the long forgotten Ego, don't forget that one. Then we got into making our own, we, we did, me and Andy both did a box. We went to fucking cheap China store to get a fucking uh, soldering gun, burned ourselves, burned holes in tables, burnt our box, uh, almost went blind, and they were pieces of shit, but they worked. They were beat the fuck, but we liked it and we knew it was what was going to be next. I was terrible at building mods. Absolutely horrendous. And CJ was probably the only person worse than me. We were so good at building mods, we stopped doing it because we didn't want to make anyone else jealous. My first mod was my indulgence. It fucking ripped hardcore, like close to eight volts. And I remember we bought some, we were selling a few of them because people wanted what I had. And they were breaking like crazy. Mine was fucking beat to shit tarnish, different fucking colors, and um, mine wouldn't break. Finally it broke. Ah, it's no big deal, I got my fucking ego. I go back to it, holy shit, it was nowhere close. Obviously you're vaping at eight volts, going back to the three seven is gonna fucking be dog shit, but I, I bumped up the 36 after that just to get back down to 18 where I was, because I couldn't handle going from eight to three. I don't think I could ever go back to an ego, unless I had some ridiculous low ohm, heating element and some cranked up juice to just spice it up. I definitely could vape an Ego, no problem. No problem at all. I might have to put like a, a 1.7 Cardo on it. Hell no, I ain't going back to vaping Egos, man. It's like riding in a Mercedes Benz and then next thing you know, you riding a bike. I don't think I would want to. I probably could if I was given no other choice, but I got mechanical mods that vape at 3.7, so I'm all set there. What's next in vaping is gonna be a lot bigger than vaping. I don't know the next possible thing. The next thing that I would like to see is like a battery with like a laser in it that heats up the heating element. Something with lasers. We need someone who's smart enough to invent a new product with a whole new technology but not too dumb to put a proprietary thread on it. And if you make a new technology, if you make the laser miser and it's not a 510, I'm coming to fucking find you. What's next after egos? Mods. And then we get into like the future and I can just go. Shh. 
put it back on my arm, be like Bionic Man. What was that? Like the $2 million man? Six million dollar man. Yeah. And I think that's really the boom that everyone's waiting for is something that's the size of a cigarette, like a small stick, but is going to last you all day or even longer potentially. They need to come out with small batteries that last a long time. And that's just not the e-cig industry, that's the battery industry. Phones are getting more complicated and crazier and more stuff in them, but they're getting bigger because bigger screens, bigger batteries last longer. Make something small that could fit in my pinky and I could just vape it. 2013 Vapor Trail VWO video contest. We got a lot of submissions and we do appreciate everyone who submitted a video. Um, we got a lot of submissions from our, our friends and loyal customers here in town. We got a lot of submissions from our close VWO members out there in the world. Thank you guys. That's what makes this whole thing work. You know, we had some of the guys from the shop putting in some videos trying to win the Darwin. This message is brought to you by Vapor Trail and the makers of Zero Tolerance Penis Freshener. If your penis smells worse than a smoker use zero tolerance previous freshener with this video is, it's pretty sad he, he got this this cock perfume that he uses on a regular basis because his from Munda cheese just rolls up into his cock and balls and reeks of all nastiness um, and then it cuts to him and he calls himself Wiggles the bear I'm Wiggles the bear and you're watching VWO <laughs> Bonnie's video was completely and utterly cheesy, and you think nothing of it. What up, VWO? Giving a shout out to Andrew and CJ at Paper Trail. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you again soon. Thought I'd give you a shout out. Not wearing any pants. But. Neither is he. Oh, God, he's so beautiful. Oh, Bondi, you make me blush right now. Someone wrote a song for us. It's been one week since I quit the cigs. Spit it out of my mouth and said it's nasty. Five days since he sent me juice. Said try this flavor and come back and see me. People driving in their cars giving shout outs. Just like, oh, what's up? I want to say my name is Jim. I'm from blah, blah, blah. Or yeah, I'm John. And it's just no. There is. I'm watching VW. That fucking Reyes dude just fucking steaming out clouds with the Vapor Trail juice. You're the fucking man. Nobody's got clouds like that, dude. He's fucking cool. And he likes our juice because it gives him extra clouds. The third place winner is, um, it was actually live footage. It was a hidden camera that picked up third place. So it wasn't really even a video submission at first. But it's a loyal customer of ours. He's got a flavor named after him, 5 Joe. And uh, basically, this video describes what happens when you fuck with a police officer's e-cig. Woohoo! Man, there's nothing like a good vape. A hard day protecting and serving. Hear that shit? What you got in here? Whoa, there's etiquette on touching another man's vape. What? How do you work, dude? No. Oh, let me try this thing real hard. Oh, that's good, yeah. Oh, fuck. Pepper spray. Yeah. <laughs> ah, he's doing the fucking happy dance and shit. I'm Joe Pietis, and I watch Vaping World Order. And I'm not having fun. <sighs> I need some water. Yeah, 5 old Joe. Pick up your eye taste anytime. We got you, brother. Second place. Oh, man. Starts off with a nice shot of a nasty ass. Cool. Could have been nastier. Probably should have had like a someone in there pissing before this happened, but shows it. And then it breaks to the gentleman, the second place winner of our video contest. I would do a lot of things, including wear thongs. I ain't jumping in that pool no matter how many dollar ones you give me. You won an EVIC, that's fucking cool, right? They were last year's second place, this year's first place, Nick the Narc. And his buddy. Alex is his name, Murdoch. Yo, man, there's just one thing I gotta fucking know. Why'd you bring me up on this roof? Have I ever told you about how cigarettes killed my family? Cancer. 
No. One night a cigarette broke in my house. Shot my parents dead. Dog too. And he came for me. Dragged me to my own room and raped me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the fuck up. Cigarettes don't have hands. This one had hands. No, 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 no! Just wanted to let you know I'm on the e sig now, totally mellowed out, and you're watching VWO. We have a surprise for everyone who put videos in, that's right. We didn't announce it ahead of time, we didn't want the box to be loaded with fraudulent videos here, but we are going to reward each and every person whose video is featured in this week's episode. So if you see your video here today, even like a little clip, one second, maybe it was just in the background, if you see you, you contact us. Better luck next year to all the contestants, next year people make sure you um, you, you send us stuff. You, know, you can't be, uh, you can't win it unless you're in it. Snick, watching VWO.